Hey everybody, Madison here with Health by Ratio, and in this video, we are going to talk about biomechanical assessments. HBR's holistic health and fitness system consists of licensed physical therapists, orthopedic movement specialists, corrective exercise coaches, and nutrition coaches that work together with our clients to solve the root causes of lingering pains and injuries to progress back to the abundant and fit lives that they love to live. In our holistic health and fitness program, the very first thing that we do is assess the biomechanics of each person that we connect with. We actually do this for free before we even start working with somebody to see if we're even a good fit for what their body is dealing with. But biomechanical assessments are so, so important for any of us that have been dealing with a lingering injury or pain or recurring uh, or chronic pain that we uh, slash injury that we haven't been able to resolve especially if this has been something that we've been dealing with for years. This could have been from a past trauma or accident that like caused this injury, but we haven't been able to hear, heal from it completely for the last several years or decades even. And it also could be something that just naturally kind of showed up over time. All of a sudden, our, our back or knee or whatever started to have arthritic symptoms, or we found out we had a disc bulge or a herniation or whatever it might have been, and we don't know why. Well, whenever we've been dealing with something that occurred over time or ever, wherever, uh, whenever we're dealing with something that occurred many years ago and we've done the prescribed and recommended maybe physical therapy, maybe we've done some chiropractic work or acupuncture work, maybe we've seen a massage therapist or fascial specialist, maybe we've done all these specific treatments, maybe we've had surgery, maybe we've gotten some injections over the years, and yet we haven't been able to maintain our health around whatever these injuries or pains are, well, that's when biomechanical assessments become so, so, so important because the human body is an incredible machine. It is designed to continuously move no matter what, to compensate and to allow us to continue to move. This is because back when, when we were living in the wild and we were running away from something, if we injured our knee while we're trying to run away from the, that lion, guess what? The body wasn't going to give up. It was going to keep trying to run away from that lion. So we're going to develop the compensation and, and still figure out how to run away from that lion despite having that hurt knee. Well, that is what still happens to this day. If we have a, a, we pick up something funky and we hurt our back, we have some type of disc problem and, and or a, a nerve impingement or something like that, our body is going to learn to compensate with certain asymmetries, create maybe some imbalances, but it's going to figure out a way to continue to live life. It's a movement mechanism. It's a movement machine, and it wants to prioritize movement over quality of movement. So when there isn't an option to move well without pain, it will move poorly to still be able to move and, and guard away from that pain. Well, those natural responses to an injury like I, I i'm i'm i injure my ankle and now and i could be a severe ankle injury and for the next couple of months i'm going to be limping or i'm going to be asymmetrical i'm going to be loading to one side those things ingrain patterns into our central nervous system especially if this is something that we've been dealing with for years and decades our body has learned to guard around this and that creates lasting imbalances and lasting impacts to how we naturally support our body's alignment. And that lack of support or that lack of balance, that lack of harmony in our day-to-day -day life is what keeps these injuries alive or it's what causes other areas of the body to naturally or to, to start to wear down. Like I might've hurt my right ankle 10 years ago. And because of the imbalance that I cultivated from there, my left hip it has been getting really irritated. And all of a sudden, the left side of my back, that SI joint, gets out of alignment. And, and so I'm getting de dealing with these back spasms. Well, that's the compensatory patterns that have occurred over the, the um, years from me uh, uh, guarding away from this deficient right ankle and, and how that's impacted the body. Even if the right ankle is relatively healthy now, I still have developed those patterns in my central nervous system that impact how my body stabilizes itself day in and day out. So that's why assessing the body from head to toe and side to side becomes so important because then we can see where our deficiencies are. 
Like I, I may have had injuries to my, I might have injured my right ankle, but you know what? Because I've loaded into my left leg for so long, now my left ankle is really tight. It's not injured. Maybe it doesn't give me any pain, but it's super tight because I'm always relying on it. It's overworked. And that tension in that left ankle, that lack of mobility affects me when I'm walking or when I sit down or stand up or whatever it might be. And so we want to take a look at everything along the body to see where these compensations might be coming from. So what kind of movements do we want to assess when we're talking about a, a holistic biomechanical assessment? Well, first thing we probably want to take a look at is probably how we walk. That's an important one, right? And we need to look at how the body is aligned and supporting itself with each of our natural steps. Now, if we're a runner, if we're an athlete, probably want to also take a look at our running gait as well, not just walking, but also running. The other patterns that are really common for essentially every human being that we want to look at is squatting. That's one. Now, some of you might say, I don't squat. I can't squat. That's not uh, I, like my body can't do that. Well, I guarantee you, it, it, you, you too, whether if you ever sit down or stand up, that's a squat. If you sit down on the toilet and you stand up, that's a squat. Many of us at times of the day, we squat down to grab something. Like we are squatting dozens of times a day, naturally, whether we think about it or not. So that pattern is another staple one that we want to assess from head to toe to see if we're moving with good support along this body. The other one that we might want to look at is how we kneel or how we lunge. That pattern, at least a staggered stance, is what we're in when we're walking. But also, if we kneel down to grab something, we want to take a look at how we lunge. Not everyone can do that. So some of these assessments are appropriate for one person, but maybe we have to hold off on another because they don't have the health to do that yet. That's that's okay too, but these are general for most people. That's another important one, and especially because it looks at one side versus the other. So we really get to key on, key in on if there are any side-to-side -side imbalances. The next assessment is how we hinge. We often go wake up in the morning and we bend over the sink and we wash our face or we unload the dishwasher or we go to quickly pick up a bag and we don't necessarily squat where we're using the knee bend and hip, but like we're not using a knee and hip movement. We're just using the hips to hinge at the hips. So a hip hinge, or for those of us that are go to the gym, we would also think of that as like a straight leg deadlift or an RDL. So like that, that's another staple pattern that we do day in and day out. There's other movements then that we can follow up to assess where, like if we see imbalances, if we see deviations in, in how the body is moving, now we can do break uh, some breakdowns to see why the body is doing what it's doing. So we can assess things like our ankle range of motion. We can assess our knee range of motion. We can assess our hip range of motion in a variety of different positions. We can assess our thoracic and shoulder girdle range of motion to see if we're lacking in any ranges of motion up top that's impacting us. We can also assess stability. For instance, we might be able to stand on one leg, great, but the other leg, we're all out of balance and really challenged. We could see if it's a stability issue from left to right hand side. There's a variety of different follow-up range of motion and strength assessments that we can do that pinpoint where the deficiencies are coming from. And then we now have a game plan on what we can do to move back to full ranges of stable motion again. This is where the holistic approach can come into fruition because now we know, okay, that left ankle is impacted and this right hip is impacted like this. The left hip is impacted like that. The right shoulder is doing X. The, the left shoulder is doing Y. And now we know what specific mobility techniques to do and what exercise techniques to do to correct the body. Now the name of the game is just figuring out how we can fit it into our schedule. Do we have to do all of it every day? Probably not. We could probably do some of the ankle work on one day, then do some of the uh, uh, the hip work on the next day and some of the shoulder work on the next day. And we could kind of rinse and repeat through these, the, these few days to hit all of our key trouble spots. So again, like I said at the beginning, these biomechanical assessments are things that my team and I do for free for 
everybody. And we do it for two reasons. First and foremost is we want to give incredible value to those of us that have dealt with recurring pains and injuries for years and understanding the root causes of why our body hasn't been able to heal so that we can, again, get back to the active and abundant lives that we love. That's a given. The second reason is to see if we're a good fit for your goals, to connect with you and see, can we help you with a game plan to get your body moving back to full range of stable motion? If you're interested in that, simple. Type the word assessment in the comments below this video and we'll reach out directly. Have a good one.